Definitely the main thing for me and for the, I guess the whole team and program as a whole is just to make it to the NCAA uh, tournament this year. You know, I think we've set our we've set a goal to you know first and foremost compete and win the Big 12. And you know, if we just can do that um, and accomplish that, then everything else will fall into place. You know, it was kind of a crazy day. It was. Uh, I was actually headed to work out in the morning and uh, got a call from Robbie Kilcrease and he said, hey man, you just got drafted by the Dodgers. And uh, I thought he was joking with me at first just because I hadn't talked to the Dodgers. I talked to several teams, but never the Dodgers. And, uh, you know, it was just one of those deals where the Dodgers called me about 30 minutes later and uh, talked to me. And that's really about how it was. I mean, it's a dream come true. You, you always want to grow up thinking, you know, what have a uh, chance to play professional baseball and it was a really dream come true and it was a lot of fun. Definitely the way the season ended last year. I mean, uh, going into the Big 12 tournament, we had uh, big hopes of postseason play and, you know, that didn't quite work out. We didn't have a great showing there and, uh, you know, just my, my main goal was to get back here, get with all these groups of guys, get with this group of guys, get with Barrett and Jermadre, guys that uh, I knew we're going to be coming back, have great years, and have a lot of attention on them, and get get this program to a, a NCAA tournament. You know, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I just kind of been sitting around all summer working out, and uh, I felt it'd be a great opportunity to go and get a few bats uh, leading into the fall. And I feel like it really helped me, give me some confidence uh, coming into this fall and going into the spring, and helped me. Uh, it really just prepares you mentally because you know you're going to struggle at times and uh, it just really helped me going into this fall. I would say my favorite memory would probably have to be the uh, either the Kansas series or the Oklahoma State series. I mean, it was kind of we had our backs against the wall. We had a couple weekends before that that, uh, you know, we hadn't played too well and we our backs were really against the wall and we came out and we uh, probably played our two best series of the season there when we had to have it. So I'd say that's my favorite memory. You know, it's just one of those things where, uh, you know, it's something I've taken a whole lot of pride in growing up is whenever I've been struggling at the plate, I, you know, I try not to take that with me out to the field because I mean, you have a guy up there on the mound that's battling and he expects you to do everything you can. So, uh, you know, I just try to save as many runs as I can and hopefully uh, come up with a play every now and then. You know, we have a great group that's come in. Uh, a lot of good guys, a lot of good team guys. I'd say the new guys that have come in and surprised me the most or impressed me the most uh, have to be Bry Burless and coming in at shorts, really stepped up and I feel like he's probably taken a lead in that role. And also uh, Reddick, he's done a great job out here. Uh, you know, as far as pitchers, I feel like Shane's came in and done a great job and put himself in a good position. But I mean, really everybody's done a great job. Everybody's been working really hard and uh, really looking forward to the season. You know, uh, from pitching side of things, I mean, you got to look at Brennan Stewart, a guy who, you know, shows up to work every day and, you know, he's going to give you 110% out on the mound. Uh, and there's a bunch of other guys over there that, you know, are working hard and that are developing into leadership roles. And as far as position players, I mean, it's a pretty tight-knit group. I feel like uh, you can go, go across the board and you can pick four or five guys, you know, who uh, the younger guys can look up to and who they can show the right way to play the game and the right way to be a Red Raider. You know, I'd say just, uh, you know, just uh, putting in hard work. I mean, the coaches preach, you know, in, in order to get results on the field, you've got to uh, put work in off the field. And I'd say that's probably uh, something that's really helped me the most and just staying with it. I mean, staying with an approach, staying, trusting the work that you put in, trusting that's going like, to carry out into the, into, onto the field.
For us, the, the bonus was we knew he was going to be a competitive hitter. Uh, we didn't realize, I don't think, how good a hitter he is and has been uh, since he got here and then in carried it right over through the summer in the Cape and then out here in the fall. He's been a great hitter. So he's really the complete package uh, for a college baseball player. Uh, and he's going to get to go play professional baseball, and we'll see how far he goes. But he's a great kid, uh, great worker, great teammate, great guy to have around.